This is a short video that is displaying how to navigate an already loaded antibody model. It will display how to navigate from the model, model view, which is the 3D representation of the model, to the tree view representation of the model, and f also how to, how to navigate from the AnyScript representation of the model. Um, this is an arm curl model where the person is counter counteracting against the weight. So let's try to figure out what is the weight of this mass that is counteracting on and what is and how can we change the weight of this mass. So we double click this mass, it will highlight this visual representation of the of the mass in the model tree. We can then look a little bit up here. We can see that that this mass we can see here in the object description that this is an of the type any sex. So um, so it also has assigned a, a a mass value to it. In this case, this mass value is 5 kilos. Um, then we can, let's say we want to change this mass, we can then uh, directly click this blue link and it will take us to the location where this, where this mass is constructed and we can now change this to be something different. Um, it's also possible to go directly from the script back to the model tree. So let's say you're somewhere in the script and you want to figure out now, this is a definition of a railroad joint, you want to figure out what is the, uh, this, this railroad joint is, is being done between these two, uh, these two objects that it's pointing at two different items. So it's, there's a wheel two here and there's some global ref right wheel node two. So let's try to figure out what is this wheel two. So we click this, uh, this reference here we put the mouse on the on the reference here, we right click, we click locate in model tree, it takes us here to the model tree. If we look at the object description, we can see first here that, that this is an any ref object, so it's something that points at something else. Uh, we can also see down here that uh, the target description that what it's pointing at is of the type any segment, any sex, so it's an any segment. Uh, we can see its complete name uh, and we can see where it's constructed. So let's click this complete name. It will take us somewhere different in the tree. So it will take us to the location uh, where this uh, um, where this object exists in the tree. So in this case, we can see again that it's an NSEC. Um, we can now see. Let's try to see now if we can if there is a, already a visual representation of this item here in the in the model tree. So we right click, we click click the model view, we select then this object plus, plus all levels, we s click select and it will then highlight this particular uh, object in the, in the model view as you could see. It's also possible to, of course, to, to navigate the, the human model. So let's try to put the mouse over one of the muscles in the leg, so in this case the rectus femoris muscle. We can then right click and we can, again, we have two options. We can either click uh, locate in any script or locate in model tree. So let's try to click locate in model in any script. It will take us to the location in the script where this was created. Um, and we can now, for example, let's try to figure out what are the other models that, that exist together with this like for more models in the model tree. So let's try to f go back to the tree from here. So we put the mouse the cursor here in Rectus Femoris name, we right click, we click locate in model tree and then now we get two options and this is because that this um, this muscle file is being used for both the right side and the left side so we have to tell the system if we want to look at the right side or the left side so we click the right side, it open up again oops, I, it open up again this, uh, it open up the Rectus Femoris uh, item over here in the model tree and we can see all the all the other muscles that are existing together with it. Um, and then, for example, we can go and look at some of the properties uh, that are existing in this, in this muscle. So in this case, we can see the current length of this muscle, for example. Um, so all the different properties are, are available here. Um, so it's of course also there are also a, a different kind of uh, of links available in the in the script. So if you if you click in, if you go into the model file, the, the the main file of the model, you can see here there are many different include files, and we can click these include statements, and it will take you directly to the location where where this particular uh, file is being is being uh, uh, created. 
it's of course also there's also um, actually a file tree view available here in the tab view so you can here you can browse all the, the file structure representation of, of the model. Um, it's also possible if you have an error that you can that the system can help you to the location where this error uh, was created. So in this case we could in the study here there is a property called it's expecting this property called T end. We can try to introduce here an error right test here that would create an error because it, this element doesn't exist. Uh, so we try reloading it and you c in the message window down here we can upward window we can click this link and it will take us directly to the location where we generated the, the error and we can get rid of it again and reload. So there are many different ways sort of to, to navigate your model and, and, uh, and use the GUI facilities to, to learn the structure of the model. Thank you.